it's not it's one thing to say it out of your mouth you got to believe it don't just say it and then go on doubting it really take the time to settle yourself and say okay i'm saying christ in me the hope of glory i'm saying i can do all things through christ who strengthens me i'm connected to this ability so why am i still suffering lack in this area why am i have a shortage in this area god has no shortages in no area there's no shortage in the kingdom of heaven the ability of god becomes your inheritance see when you come into the kingdom of god things are not moving at a pace where you are used to you used to waiting but in the spirit world it's not faith is now are y'all seeing this faith is now because you said okay in two weeks you know what the holy ghost going to have to do he's going to have to move in two weeks all righty good morning everybody god bless you it's always good to be here and it's always real nice to have you right there well praise god for another day and another time to share with you from our this service this live service should i say again today wherever you are watching this service we praise god for you uh as pastor leo said from all over the world brothers and sisters let me tell you god is in your town praise the lord yes he is he is in your town you want to know why he's there he is there to bless you he is there to strengthen you he is there to pour out his blessing his best upon you praise god praise god father Amen. thank you thank you lord thank you thank you father we glorify your name do what you want to do today. In the name of Jesus, we praise you right now in Jesus', Jesus name. name. Amen. Amen. All right. We are still talking about spiritual warfare. And we are talking about believing the impossible. Believing the impossible. Possible. Brothers and Amen. sisters. Let me tell you, you see where uh, warfare, I said welfare, <laughs> warfare everywhere. When I say everywhere, it is everywhere. But you know what? God is still God and Jesus is still Lord. And the Holy Ghost is still in the earth. Praise God, praise God. Praise God. Now, we want you to grab pen and paper today. Get ready to take some real good notes. And by the way, let me tell you, the message that you will hear today, you will be able also to purchase that message. Praise God. Amen. And the announcer uh, will tell you more uh, later on. All right? Amen. See, the Bible says, so faith cometh by hearing. Pay attention to words now. It didn't say faith come by having heard it before. It says faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. What does all that mean? You need to get the word more and more and more. We all need the word more and more and more. Praise God. All right. Uh, our foundation scripture, Pastor Lil. Pastor Lil is going to work with me uh, on today. Praise God. And we'll have the prophet back next Sunday. Amen. 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 Now, don't y'all turn Amen. me off because I said that now. Praise <laughs> the Lord. All right. Amen. Our foundation scripture, 2 Corinthians, is coming from 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4 in the King James Version. That's the first one. And then we'll go to the Amplified Classic after that. And it Amen. says, for the, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, 
but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. And in, the, and in the Amplified Classic, it says, for the weapons of our warfare are not physical weapons of flesh and blood, but they are mighty before God for the overthrow and destruction of strongholds. For the overthrow mm -hmm. and destruction. Mm -hmm. For the overthrow <laughs> and uh, destruction, destruction of what? Strongholds. Strongholds. What's a stronghold? It's a house of thoughts mm -hmm. that has built up in your mind over time. Mm -hmm. Now, you're ready to move on. You want to let them go, but they don't want to let you go. Amen. They want to hold on to you. They want to lead and guide you. They want to tell you what to do. But you see, when you got born again, your soul, man, your mind, your intellect, your will, and your emotions had to stop running things because they don't run nothing anymore. Now you are born again yeah. and filled with the spirit of God. And now you must become equipped to the pulling down of strongholds. What do you say, Pastor Leo? Amen. Uh, that made me think about Jeremiah 29 11. When you said, it's a house of thoughts. In Jeremiah 29 and 11, it says, uh, let me pull it on the screen for you. It says, for I know the thoughts that I think toward you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. Mm -hmm. Like you say, I know the house of thoughts that I'm thinking to toward you. It didn't say he's think these thoughts. Of course, he's thinking it about you, but he's thinking it toward you. That word toward just stuck out to me because it's like he's sending his thoughts to you. He's sending mm -hmm. you what he needs you to think about. Mm -hmm. And you ask people, what are you thinking about? Oh, I don't know. You know, I'm, I don't nothing's really on my mind. But he, God is constantly sending thoughts the same way in, the enemy is sending his thoughts. The enemy is sending his thoughts constantly. Every day, yeah. thoughts of fear, doubt, unbelief. Thoughts of I can't, Thought, thoughts of this is just too impossible. But here God is saying, I'm sending my thoughts toward you. Mm -hmm. Receive my thoughts. That's just like Mark eleven twenty two. Have the faith of God. Receive my thoughts. Use my thoughts. Don't use the thoughts of the world. Use the thoughts of the kingdom. What does the kingdom think? Thoughts of peace, not of evil, yeah. to give you an expected end. So God is think God is sending thoughts our way. The question is now: Are we are are we on the right channel to receive it? Mm -hmm. I remember uh, years ago when I first came to Strong Faith, Apostle said, "Leo, there's a broadcast playing every morning, but now you have to get up to listen to it, and you got to make sure you tuned into the right channel to receive that." And that's what believing the impossible is all about. We can't believe the impossible with all of our old thoughts. We can only believe the impossible, the, the impossible with the thoughts we, re we receive from God, from the Father. You got to get up. You got to tune into the broadcast that the Lord is playing every every morning. He's The message is out there. He wants you to receive it. He wants you to hear it. And then you go back and rebroadcast it by speaking your words, by speaking it, mm -hmm. saying it, standing on it, believing it. Mm -hmm. That's spiritual warfare. Spiritual warfare means you, and the first part is receiving your directives from the Father. Amen? And then you're able to go out and overthrow your weapons. With your weapons, now you're able to go and, how did the scripture say? Overthrow and destruction of those strongholds. Amen? Yes. That's right. That's how we do it. You know, when people say, you ask about it, you know, what was on your mind today? 
Or what are you thinking about? Oh, nothing really. <laughs> right. There is something on your mind all the time. All the time. You may not want to say what it is, but there is something there. Like when the scripture says, have faith in God. Mm -hmm. You are always in faith about something. It just may be the wrong faith. Mm. Brother Elvis there, more than one kind of faith? Oh, absolutely. Amen. Yes. Uh, what is it? Mark chapter 11 and verse 22. And Jesus said unto them, and Jesus answered and said unto them, have faith in Amen. God. Just a statement of have faith in God tell you you can have faith in something else. Amen. But he said here, use my faith. Take my faith. If you're going through a battle today, here, take God's faith. Speak to the problem. Speak to that enemy. Command it in the name of Jesus to be removed. Amen. And do you know it will? Because see, the same faith that Jesus have, you and I have the same faith today. Amen. 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 The same one. Praise God. Just thinking about what you're saying. Well, we use this uh, situation in the Bible a lot, but the woman with the issue of blood. Mm -hmm. For years, she had faith in those physicians. And, she, and and they couldn't they could not help her. And because she had faith in that. She continued to stay within her situation of that sickness, but. The moment she shifted and put her faith in God, she was healed immediately. That's right. So like you said, what do you have? So now what do you have your faith in? Do you have your faith in your job? Because if we put our faith in our job, we're going to always look at it's not enough to take care of what we really want to do. The business we may want to start, the bills. It may not, it's not enough to pay the house off. It's not enough. So we, that's our faith in the job. But when we shift and we say, we know what I have faith in God. Then we start thinking about, well, all things are possible with God. So now well, if all things are possible with God, my faith is in God. Now it is possible for me to pay this house off before the time. Mm. It is possible for me to be healed before the time they say I'm supposed to be healed. It's possible. Now you got that. It's possible in your thought life. You start meditating on it and now you're manifesting. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But you have to shift. Your, you got to shift your thinking. Yes. Your focus. So how do you do that? Pay attention to words with the word of God. Put your put the word of God in your mouth. Like you say, like your mouth and your heart. Mm -hmm. Put it in your mouth. You're saying it. It's going in your heart. And then an instruction will come. Thinking about what Brother Hagen said. He's believing the word, believing the word. He's on his sick bed, that bed. Well, and then the word says, well, what would a healed person do? He gets out of bed, par paralyzed, throws himself on the floor, stands up, walks in the kitchen, sits down and eats breakfast. He did something. Mm -hmm. He acted on what he believed. He acted on what he was saying. Yeah. Faith without corresponding action. action is dead. Amen. You have to do something. Faith without actions is dead. You, you can't just say, oh, oh, well, I have faith. No, you're going to have to do something. Mm -hmm. If you're sick and you couldn't lift that that arm, 
Lift that arm now in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. Lift that arm now in the name of Jesus. If maybe you couldn't, you couldn't move your legs. Move those legs. Move those legs now in Jesus' name. Begin to move them in the name of Jesus. See, you have a part to play. Now, all sickness and diseases is from the devil, is from the enemy. God is not putting sickness and disease on people, but the enemy is. Amen. Amen. And you have to know what to do. And here's where people like me come in at to show you, to help you in what to do. Folks, it may not look like it to you and from where you are today, but let me tell you, victory is right there looking at you every single day. Victory Amen. is right there headed your way. Praise God. Praise God. All right. Let's keep moving. Amen. I believe we're picking it up in letter I. Amen. Yes. <clears throat> letter I. Praise God. Faith connects you with the ability of God. The ability of God becomes your inheritance. The what? The ability of God becomes what? Your, your inheritance. inheritance. Keep going. Amen. Uh, Deuteronomy, you want to read Deuteronomy 1 9? Let's pause right there for a second. Okay. 9 1. What does faith do again? Faith connects you with the ability of God. Why? Because it's not our faith. Remember I just showed you in Mark chapter 11, verse 22? See, here, use my faith. Have faith in God. I uh, have the faith of God. Use my faith. The faith of God is not going to fail you. There, Listen, there is no failure in the faith of God, because there's no failure in God. Amen. You have to believe for the impossible. Amen. You've got to know that you know that you know. See, listen, somebody said, well, I'll believe it when I see it. No, that's not believing. <clears throat> that's knowing. Mm -hmm. There's a difference between believing and knowing. When you see it, you're going to know it. You don't need to believe for it. You know it's there. Amen. But your faith deals with what is not there. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. It's the evidence. It's the evidence of things not seen or perceived by the five senses. Just because you can't smell it, you can't taste it, and your eyes and your head can't see it, don't mean that it's not there. Mm -hmm. You have to believe God for the impossible. The impossible stand there and oppose you. Mm -hmm. But guess what? Again, we are talking about spiritual warfare and belief mm -hmm. for the impossible. Impossible. What was not possible for people in the world, for that natural man, is possible for you, the spiritual woman, the spiritual man. Why? Amen. You are born again. again. You are what? You are born again. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Come on. Uh, you really have to shift your thinking, don't you? <laughs> Absolutely. Because I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about a lamp. Let's you have a lamp. And you plug that lamp into the wall. Now you connect it to the electrical source. 
Mm-hmm. Now that power is flowing into that lamp and that lamp can turn on. The same way we are connected to faith connects you with the ability of God. That power is in you now. Mm-hmm. If you connect it, God is in you. So now we have to shift our thinking. If God is in me, why am I sick? If I'm connected to his ability, why am I complaining about I don't have the resources to start a business? I don't know how to do this. The wisdom of God is not there. Come on now. We got to mm-hmm. really think about that. If we if we walking around and we're saying, I'm in the word, the word is in me, I'm in Christ, Christ is in me. We say all of these nice, pretty things, right? But are we really believing it? It's not. It's one thing to say it out of your mouth. You got to believe it. Don't just say it and then go on doubting it. Really take the time to settle yourself and say, okay, I'm saying Christ in me, the hope of glory. I'm saying I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I'm connected to this ability. So why am I still suffering lack in this area? Why am I have a shortage in this area? God has no shortages in no area. There's no shortage in the kingdom of heaven. The ability of God becomes your inheritance. You didn't have to pay for it. You Mm -hmm. didn't have to work for it. You were born with it. So now if this is my right, not Oh Lord, I'm I'm not worthy. Oh Lord, I'm, am I worthy enough? No, you were born with this. If a child is born with an inheritance, I don't care how crazy they act, it's still their inheritance. We saw that with the prodigal son. He had his he wanted his inheritance before his father left the earth, and his father gave it to him. Went out and squandered it. Came back home, and guess what? The father gave him some more. Got him straightened out got him on the right track and gave him more. So it's our it's our inheritance. It mm-hmm. is it belong the power of God, the blessing of God, the healing of the of the healing of God, the peace, the love, the joy. Yeah. It's ours. Take ownership of it. The wisdom of God, it's ours. There's no such thing as I don't know how to do something. No, Father, I thank you right now. That because wisdom is my inheritance, I have the understanding and I know how to accomplish this mm-hmm. this task in the name of Jesus. I'm saying that over myself right now. There's some things I have to get done. I need the wisdom for it. Faith connects me to that ability. Faith connects me to that wisdom. Faith connects you to that power. Amen. Get yeah. excited. We, we lack nothing. Nothing at all. We have no lack. Praise God. The power of God is in us. The ability of God is in you. I was born on the wrong side of the tracks. Don't matter. The power of God works over there too. Yeah. Amen. The ability of God becomes your inheritance. Glory to God. You have scriptures here in Deuteronomy. One second. Okay. Before you go there. Amen. Just thinking about what you said. Many people are trying to figure it out in their head Mm -hmm. how God is going to do it. Well, he never told you to try to reason it out in your mind. Amen. He told you to receive it. Glory to God. As long as you're trying to reason it out in your head, you're trying to figure it out. It's because you have not received. The moment you believe you've received, things happen. Amen. Did you hear me? Things begin to happen. Things happen. That thing started coming right at you. But as long as you are trying to figure it out in your head. You have not taken ownership. You have not received it. Mm-hmm. Have you ever seen 
somebody trying to give somebody something and they just won't receive it. Uh -huh. That's how many people look with the Lord. The Bible say, God has given. Watch that word. God has given. Past tense, right? Amen. Have given. Or what has what has he have given? All things. All things. How many? All, All of things. them. All, All things. things that pertain it to life and godliness. godliness. Well, how did he do that? Through the knowledge, through the knowledge, and that's revelation knowledge Amen. of Jesus Christ. See? Amen. Stop trying to figure it out. Stop trying to reason with it and go ahead and receive it. It's available for you, yes, it is a part of your inheritance. Amen. But unless you receive it, you know what will happen? It'll stay right where it is. Amen. But oh, when you start believing. See, believe for the impossible. A man or woman full of the spirit of God, full of the word of God, can believe for the impossible. Somebody said, well, come on, man, get realistic. That, that's not even possible. For you, it is not. You are absolutely right. For you, it's not. You can't receive that. But you know what? What you can't receive, I can. Why? What would make me any different from you? I'm a believer. And because I am a believer, I'm a receiver. Amen. I expect to receive God's best in my life. Amen. I listen, I expect mm -hmm. to be made whole, to be healed. It's a part of my inheritance. inheritance. He says I am. Amen. I'm the Lord your God that what? That healed Healing. you. He didn't say I'm the Lord your God that make it you sick. He says, I am the Lord, your God, that healeth you. See, there are things that belong to you, and there are things that don't belong to you. <laughs> Praise Amen. God. Do you see it? Amen. All right. Your next scripture. It's coming from Deuteronomy 9 and 1. Amen. And it says, Hear, O Israel, thou art to pass over Jordan this day to go in to possess nations greater and mightier than thyself, cities great and fenced up to heaven. Cities Amen. what? Great. great and fenced up to heaven. Are you all seeing this? Amen. Here it is in the, uh, CEV, the CEV version. Come on. Israel, listen to me. You will soon cross the Jordan River and go into the land to force out the nations that live there. They are more powerful than you are, and the walls around their cities reach to the sky. Hmm. But now watch this here. It's like the Lord told the children of Israel, go. I have given you the land. Amen. And then some start murmuring and complaining about, well, you know, they got giants over there. Man, we, we look like a grasshopper to them. Right. See, that was their image of themselves. Right. Right. That was, watch this here. That was their faith talking. Did you know faith talks? Mm. Amen. Yeah, your faith talks. Now, listen. The Bible says you can have what? Whatsoever, whatsoever you, say, you say, right? Amen. You you will have whatsoever you say. Now listen. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 1, familiar scripture to many of you. Now faith is. Now faith is the substance of what? Of things. Thanks. What is it? It's the substance of 
things. What things? Hope for. It is the evidence, look at that word evidence, of things not seen. I want you to look at now faith. Now faith. Now faith. If it's not now, it's not faith. Now, because the God kind of faith is now, you ask somebody, uh, well, are you healed? Well, one of these old days I'll be healed. Hmm. See, what did they do? They took it from the now. See, now was ready to bless them. But they took it out of the hands of the now. And they put it in the future. Now, folks, again, pay attention to words. The scriptures say, you will have whatsoever you what say. You Put say. that up on the screen. You will have whatsoever you, you say. say. There it is. For verily I say unto, unto you, you that whatsoever whosoever shall say unto whosoever shall say unto the what to the mountain, mountain. the problem the situation the circumstance be thou what removed, removed. and be thou cast into the what sea mm -hmm. and shall not and shall not doubt where in his heart, heart. will fate have to work you don't doubt but shall believe those things which he what say, say it, it shall do what Come look look pass. let's let's look at that again but shall believe but shall believe mm -hmm. what you're gonna believe those things which he or she say it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. shall come Believe what you say shall come to what? Come to pass. To pass. He shall have, are y'all catching this? He shall sure. have, she shall have whatsoever he saith. Now watch this here. If you say, what well, I'm believing God, to pay off this house in 30 years. Can I tell you something? Mm -hmm. You will have what you want. What you say. <laughs> he could have done it in 30 days. You're not listening. We talk about belief for the impossible. Amen. He could have done it in 30 days. See, when you come into the kingdom of God, Things are not moving at a pace where you are used to it. You're used to waiting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but in the spirit world, it's now. Faith is now. Are y'all seeing this? Faith is now. Because you said, okay, in two weeks, you know what the Holy Ghost is going to have to do? He's going to have to move in two weeks. <laughs> Amen. Let me show you. Remember in Genesis uh, chapter one, and God said, let there be what? Light. And there was light. There was light. Now, watch this here. And the spirit of God was brooding over the water. Mm -hmm. And God said, see, he's moving back and forward. What was he waiting for? Waiting for the word. He was waiting for God to say something. something. I want you to catch that. Mm -hmm. He could not do anything until God 
said something. What did God have to say? What he wanted. <laughs> Glory to God. What do you and I have to say? What we want. See? <laughs> you got to get this. Amen. If you say three weeks, if you say a month, the Holy Spirit have no other alternative. You know why? And let us, Genesis chapter one, make man, and let us pay attention to words and let us make man in our image after our, our likeness, likeness and let them have what dominion mm, mm, mm. you Praise have God. the power you have the authority amen you listen now you are in control of your own destiny mm. You are the one who's in control of your own destiny. Well, Brother Elder, how do you come to that? Pay attention to words. And let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them and let them mankind, male and female, have what? Dominion. Dominion. Authority. God don't have it. He gave it to you. That's what he did, Adam. Glory to God. Mr. and Mrs. Adam, they had the right to choice, to make a choice. They made the wrong choice, but they had the power of attorney to make a choice. Mm -hmm. Do you see? You, you see what's going on here? Amen. The Holy Ghost will move if you say two weeks that's when he's going to move that's when he's going to move why that's what you, what you told him to do you will have Pastor Leo what, what you so say good. what do you say this is good <laughs> glory to God and this came to me as you were talking we're talking about spiritual warfare. Yep. Believe in the impossible. Mm -hmm. Could it be that Satan, how Prophet Helen is saying, is having high carnival in your house because you didn't gave him permission to? Mm. That's good. You have what you say. Well, she make me sick. Well, he get on my nerves. She don't do nothing. He don't do nothing. Oh, he just stupid. Nah, they aggravating. Come on. What are you doing? Those are words of permission. It's not yes. just you saying it's not just you saying it. Those are words of permission. Now Satan has a right to come in and continually allow that person to do what? Get on your nerves, mm -hmm. make you sick, frustrate you, aggravate you. But Pastor Leo, I can't control people. No, you can't, but you can control spirits. That's right. That's what you're controlling. And you have yeah. allowed them to come in and have high carnival in your home. And now you want to turn around to God and say, well, Lord, help me. Why? And he's looking at you. Well, why you did that? <laughs> why you said that? You asking me why I did it. You the one who said it. I was telling you what to say. I was mm -hmm. telling you to speak the blessing over him. I was telling you, I was, I was sending my thoughts of peace, not of evil. I was sending my thoughts of peace, not of evil, to give you an expected end. But what did you do? You started speaking your feelings. You started speaking what you saw instead of what I was giving you. You see? That's what that's where the disconnect happens. We want to go and make a mess. We want to pour the milk on the floor and then ask God why he spilled the milk. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. You have what you say. 
but shall believe that those things which he says. So you actually, now that you said that person is getting on your nerves, working my last nerve. You believe that person is working your last nerve every time. In the littlest thing, I just, now all of a sudden, you don't like the way they breathe. Oh, they breathe stupid. You just find everything wrong with them. <laughs> <laughs> Look how he breathes. Breathing stupid. <laughs> Every little thing is wrong with him. You find yeah. every fault. Why? But you said that. You said that. Mm-hmm. This this week when I was teaching, thank you again, Apostle Prophet Helen, for allowing me to teach during the uh, broadcast. Yeah. What are you stirring up? See, you stirring that stuff up. You stirring up the you stirring up the strife. You stirring that up. Mm-hmm. You stirring up the doubt. You stirring up the fear. You stirring it up. You stir up your sickness. You stirring all this stuff up. You stirring the pot. You stirring the pot. You stirring the pot. You stirring, and you keep stirring it, and you are stuck there. See strongholds, right? Those thoughts right. of that of that person, whatever image you have of that person. It's holding you. It's it, it has you in bondage in your mind. And now that's all you can see. So now every little thing they do aggravate you. That's but right. now here God is saying, come into the kingdom. For every man or woman that's in Christ is a new creature. Old things have passed away. Those That old image of that person died. Behold, all things become new. Now you have to get a new image of that person. What is that image? Well, Lord, show me the image of this person. Show me who this person is. And then you start saying that. Yeah. And releasing the blessing. Yeah. See? You stirring that up. You gave those spirits permission to come into your house. Say that again. You gave those spirits permission to come into your home. That's right. You draw the line. By what That's you said. By what you said. You are the you are the one who sets the tone for your life. Yeah. By coming into agreement with the words of the kingdom or the words of the curse. Mm-hmm. Which one will you choose? <laughs> Which one do you really want? Yeah. Which one do you believe you can have? Amen. That's that's what Apostle was saying. That's what this message is about. We're doing spiritual warfare, but what we have to do is we have to shut the valve on those words of the curse that we've been speaking and stop that flow and then open the valve up to the to the kingdom and allow that to flow in. But it's hard. It's so hard. Man. If you really want to live the life God gave you, you're going to stop saying it's hard. You're just going to, you're going to do it. You're going to do it. You're going to do it till you feel like, till your flesh get tired of doing it. And then you're going to do it some more after that. Mm-hmm. And do it some okay. more and do it some more and do it more and more and more. Till watch this till now, you know, I, I, I enjoy doing it now. This is so easy to do. And now speaking those things about that person or speaking anything negative becomes nasty to even think about saying, oh, I can't say that no more. Mm-hmm. It just it mm-hmm. shifts on you. Now, oh, I can't. Nah, that person. Did you see what that person? That person, man, I love that person. Yeah. I enjoy that person. But they used to do this. Man, that person is the best person. That's, that's a great friend. That's a great husband. Great, great spouse. Great. My son and daughter, they, they great. My. My children, they're great. But all of that stuff you were saying before, I don't know who you're talking about. That person died. I'm a new person now. Yeah, new creature. New creature. But you have to mm-hmm. stop giving it permission. You got to stop. You got to stop speaking those words of permission. You need to write that down. Words of permission. Yeah. That's what you're doing. You're giving them access. Praise God. We're doing spiritual mm-hmm. warfare. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you ever heard anybody say, well, well, you know, I think I got about uh, one more week to go with this COVID stuff. <laughs> right. Do you know what you did? You gave it more week. 
<laughs> you gave it permission. You could have said, by the stripes of Jesus, I'm here right now. Right I'm now. made whole today, this, this very moment. This moment. And you know the Holy Spirit would have moved on that? Yes, he would. You hear what I just told you? The Holy Spirit would have moved on that. Amen. But you see, that's not what you said. Mm -hmm. Folks, listen. Write this down. Your words, my words, all of our words are more for creation mm. than communication. Your words were meant for creation. Mm -hmm. You have what you what to say. say. When you speak, you are creating just like God. We are co-creators yes. with God. Boy, that's a big block thrown into spiritual mm -hmm. warfare. Yeah. You are at war every day. Mm. If you were born again, Amen. Every single day, you are at war. Oh, but you just don't know what the devil is doing. Hush. Hmm. Shh. Shh. Hmm. Never talk your feelings. Amen. The scripture didn't say you can have what you feel. He said you can have whatsoever you say it. You can have whatsoever you say it, not so, not whatever you feel. Are you listening to me? Amen. Well, that's not right. That's not right. Listen, this planet does not function off of right and wrong. It functions off of what you allow and what you don't allow. allow. What did the word say, Pastor Leo? What you bind where? On, on earth. earth is bound in heaven. And what we talk about spiritual warfare here. Mm -hmm. And whatsoever you lose, see, it's all about you. Amen. People get these religious sayings on them. Well, you know, it's all of him and none of me. <laughs> that is about wrong is two left shoes. Are you listening to me? Amen. Folks, God have to work through you. If Amen. God, look, if God didn't have to work through you, there would be no need for you to pray. Hmm. He have to work through you. He have to work through me. Amen. Do you see what I'm saying to you here? Amen. Get knowledge. Get wisdom. But in all of oh, you yeah. getting, get understanding. Please understand. <laughs> you are the one who have the authority. I remember our father, Brother Hagen, he's in heaven now. He told us what happened to him dealing in spiritual warfare. He said he was talking to the Lord. And this little demon start making all that noise. Yakety yak, yakety yak, yakety yak, yakety yak, 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 yak. <laughs> and he was thinking, now, Lord, I'm trying to listen to you. Now, you hear this demon with all this noise. Make him stop. Mm -hmm. And the Lord told Brother Hagin, I can't. What? I can't, can it? No, you mean you won't. No, can it? I can't. Damn. Because I gave the authority to you on the earth. Whatever you bind on earth, whatever you loose on earth. Do y'all see the difference? Amen. Here's that, <clears throat> that scripture. In uh, Matthew 18, 18, 19, this is the living, the CEV version. Mm -hmm. I promise you that God in heaven will allow whatever you allow on earth. 
but he will not allow anything you don't allow. That's right. That's right. Whatever you allow. You allow. It's about what you allow. See, he have to allow whatever you allow. You allow. What you don't allow, he don't allow. Don't allow it. You just puts a whole different thing now when people say, well, you know, in God's time. Yeah. No, no. You set the time. That's you right. set the tone. I'll give an example of that. <laughs> it happened to me. It was a car, the car I have now. And they didn't have the one I wanted. And my wife was like, well, Leo, just get the car. I was like, that's not the one I want. And the Holy Spirit just came upon me. He said, go in there with your wife and your daughter right now. Grab your hand and say, you're just going to show up next Wednesday. And I did just that. And they called. And the car that I wanted showed up. When? I, the same day I said it. I when set the time. I set the tone. There you go. There you go. And that's how you have to do that. See, well, you know, we can't move. Yes, you can. You can move time. In the Old Testament, they prayed and the sun stood still. If they did it and didn't have the Holy Spirit in them and you have the Holy Spirit in you, what makes you think you're any different? You, you have more than what they had. Moses parted the Red Sea. If you can believe that, surely you can believe your house is paid off in 30 days. There you go. If you can believe a man a, a man you've never seen before walked on water, you can believe your car can be paid off in three weeks. Mm -hmm. We believe the we say these things, we read these things. And to some it may just be stories, but if we really believe that this happened, these things happen, then we have to believe that we have that same ability on the inside of us. That's right. To speak and confess. And tear down these strongholds. See that it has to become more than just little stories in the Bible talking about how good Jesus was. No, that's the church. Jesus was the picture of the church walking in the earth. Yeah. And that's you. That's us. That's us. Mm -hmm. What are you believing? What are you standing on? What are you confessing? Stop putting it in. See, when we say, well, you know, in God's time, what we're really saying is, I really don't have the faith for that. Yeah. That's what you're really saying. Yeah. So now you've given, see, words of permission. You've given that situation permission to take longer than it really should have. Mm -hmm. And then another year goes by. And then another year goes by. But you know, it, might, it must not be meant. And then another year goes by. And then another year goes by. Oh, well, you know, I guess I guess it wasn't meant. Now you didn't gave up on it. Mm-hmm. Why? Right. You set the tone. Well, the Lord must not wanted me to have that, brother. Right, right, right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't have faith for it. That's right. <clears throat> that woman with the issue of blood took what she wanted. Yes. She made it her time. She made it her time. Come on. She didn't say, well, you know, I guess when God will heal me in the in the afterlife, in the resurrection. That's what, G that's what <laughs> when Mary said, when Jesus asked Mary, do you believe he, you'll see, your, see Lazarus again? Yeah, in the resurrection. What did he say? I am the resurrection. He's healed now. He's alive now. Lazarus, come forth. Praise God. That's good. Then apostles shared, and one of his lessons before God took eternity and put it into three days. When Jesus died and rose again for us, he took a, a debt that was supposed to pay over eternity mm -hmm. and condensed it into three days. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yes. So. If he can take eternity and condense it into three days, you can take 30 years and, t and condense it into 30 days. That's right. We created in his image after his likeness. And what did Jesus say? The works that I do? Greater. Shall you do? Glory to God. <laughs> and greater works. 
Greater Why? works. Because I go to my father, which okay. is in heaven. Where is he? He's with the father in heaven. In heaven. What's, what's left? You and I need to get busy. Glory to God. Somebody said, well, who do you think you are? You think you God? No, I'm his son. My son. Glory to God. I'm his child. Glory to God. And I'm mimicking my father. Glory to God. Are you getting what I'm saying to you here? Glory to God. Somebody said, well, well you know what? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting on payday and then I can do this. Why are you waiting on payday? He said, you can have whatsoever you say. Come on, born again believer. He's Glory talking to, to you. Glory you to can have whatsoever you, you say. say. Come on. Let's look. Get your faith stirred up here. <laughs> Glory to God. Are you getting what I'm saying to you? Glory to get God. your faith stirred up. Jack that faith up. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Go ahead and say it now. My payday. My payday. Is every day. Is every day. Glory to God. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. We get richer and richer by the day. By the day. Glory to God. Well, well, well. <laughs> well, Pastor Lil. Amen. <laughs> I think we better close this out for today. Glory to God. If Jesus is not your Lord and you like what you are hearing and you want to tap into this, you want to become a part of this, pray this prayer with us right now, with Pastor Lil and I right now, to receive Jesus as your Savior and your Lord. Glory to God. Say, Father in heaven. Father in heaven. You know the life. You know the life that I have lived. That I have lived. Today. Today. I come to you. I come to you. I repent. I repent. I change my mind. I change my mind. I love what I heard today. I love what I heard today. That's the way I want to go. That's the way I want to go. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. So I confess with my mouth. So I confess with my mouth. The Lord Jesus. The Lord Jesus. And I believe. And I believe. In my heart. In my heart. That God, you really did. That God, you really did. Raise up your son. Raise up your son. Jesus. Jesus. From the dead. From the dead. For me. For me. And today. And today. I believe in my heart. I believe in my heart. I receive you now. I receive you now as my Savior and Lord. As my Savior and Lord. I am saved. I am saved. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Thank you. I praise you right now. Thank you. I I am saved. I am saved. Glory to God. Glory Glory to to God. God. Glory to God. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's, that's what I had to do. That's what you had to do. And you know what? Thank you, Father. You prayed that prayer with us just now, and you had sickness, affliction in your body. You are healed. The same prayer that it took for your healing is the same one that saved you. What? Check out James chapter 5. Start at verse 14 and read on down there a little bit. You will see it. And if they committed sins, it shall be forgiven them. And the prayer of faith will save the sick. Heal the sick, save the sick and the Lord will raise them up. And if they committed sins, it shall be forgiven them. You see why I say the same prayer that you pray for your healing is the same one that you say. And if they committed sins, and if they committed sins, it'll be forgiven them. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Write us. Let us know. We want to rejoice with you. Pastor Lil. Glory to God. I'm stirred up. Amen. Thank <laughs> Amen. Thank you. Glory to God. Glory to God. I enjoyed you. I enjoyed you too. Amen.